স্যার আপনার তো একটু ভুল হয়েছে কারণ আপনি কার্বন কার্বন বন্ড ক্যালকুলেট করেন না So, uh, so this is positive 45 and uh, I, I see many students, they gave negative 45. So try to be sure whether your breaking bond is larger or making bond is larger. If breaking bond is larger than making bond, then the sign should be positive. What you can do, don't give any negative sign. Just calculate all these things together. Huh? Calculate making bond. After calculating, after adding everything, give, an, uh, give a sign. After adding everything, give a sign. After adding everything, give a positive sign. Making bond, negative sign. So deduct them, right? Whoever is larger, give the sign and then the number. So very easy. Any question? Any question, anyone? Sir? Yes. Jafna, I can have carbon carbon bond to calculate coroner. She's an apna, he shall be two, two, eight, eight, eight. Oh, okay, okay, fine. এটা আমি ক্যালকুলেট করি না রে এই যে দেখছো মার্ক করছি আর পরে ভুল হইছে এই যে এটা এটা মার্ক করা ছিল না মানে এটা ক্যালকুলেট করি নাই সো কার্বন কার্বন সিঙ্গেল বন্ড আই ডিড নট ক্যালকুলেট সো দিস শুড বি পজিটিভ 348 थैंक यू यस পাখি মনো এর জন্য ইয়ে পাইতেছিল डिफरेंट ইয়ে পাইতেছিল ওকে थैंक यू वेरी गुड সো এর জন্য দেখো জাস্ট আমি হাউ আই মার্কড আফটার ক্যালকুলেটিং Bonds, they call carbon hydrogen, carbon hydrogen, carbon hydrogen, carbon hydrogen, carbon hydrogen. If you want to mark it, then you will not do any mistake. Otherwise, there, there are high chance that, that you will uh, miss one of the bond and you will not calculate and the result will uh, be different. Okay, so this is all about number four. Number five, we'll start. So yeah, student uses this apparatus to investigate the temperature change that occurs when potassium hydroxide is dissolved in water. Potassium hydroxide is dissolved in water, polystyrene cup is given. She uses this method, pour 50 cm cube of water into the polystyrene cup and measure the temperature of water at three gram of potassium hydroxide and star. 50 cm cube of water, right? 50 cm cube of water. Three gram potassium hydroxide is used. Record the highest temperature of the solution. The diagram shows the temperature. So first complete the table. Uh, temperature and degree after adding potassium hydroxide. What is this? I want everyone to answer. After temperature and degree centigrade after adding sodium potassium hydroxide. This one is after. Okay, Arhan gave all answers after, before, and change. Yes, joy, very good. So this is C, this one is, this one is 26, and this one is 27, right? And this one is 28 mark. So see, in between 27 and 28, you have five places. So each, each calibration is 0 0.2. So it is uh, in between 27.0 to 27.20, right? So it should be 27.10. So this should be 27 point one degree centigrade. Before adding, see, this one is 15, 16, 17, 18. So I should write. This one is 18 and this one is 19. So I can see 18.80. So 
right? So the difference is many students say it already. Tanisha said 27.3, yes. The change is 8.3, as Arhan said, 8.3 degree centigrade, right? So these are three marks, very easy three marks. So try to understand how to, uh, how to read thermometer reading and Bayret reading, eh? similar. The students uses her results to calculate the enthalpy change for dissolving potassium hydroxide in water. She compares her value with a data book value. Students value is minus 32 kilojoule per mole and data book value is minus 55 kilojoule per mole. There are no errors in the student's method or in the calculation, so there's two reasons why the student's value differ from the data book value. Two things we need to see, we need to tell. See, these two, heat energy lost to the atmosphere, to the surrounding. Eh? That we need to say, heat energy lost, because the experimental technique we are using, it is liable to energy loss. Eh? Since your polystyrene cup does not have lead, and then, uh, and there are many other uh, many other points uh, by uh, other factors uh, through which your through which your uh, heat energy will be lost, and potassium hydroxide dissolves too slowly. This is one answer. Potassium hydroxide does not completely dissolve. Potassium hydroxide is impure. Huh? that you can write potassium hydroxide is impure potassium hydroxide does not completely dissolve but the mark 2 is not easy for you mark 2 was not easy so this was is heat energy lost to the to the surrounding mark 2 is uh, this is not easy for you potassium hydroxide uh, will dissolve slowly or in potassium hydroxide if there are any impurity then the uh, student's value will differ from the data book value do you understand if you have less potassium hydroxide but you have calculated three gram so you will you will get a very less en en enthalpy change right so this is question number five last question let us finish it number six potassium sulfide is an ionic solid Complete the table to show arrangement of electrons in ion. What will be the arrangement? Two, eight, and eight, right? Two, eight, eight. This is the ion because one electron will be lost. Charge on the ion, one plus. Sulfide two, eight, six. The arrangement of ion will be two, eight, eight because two electrons, two electrons will be gained. Two, eight, eight. Very good. And the charge of Charge on ion will be two minus or minus two, whatever you write, right? Explain why potassium sulfide conducts electricity when molten. You need to write when molten, the ions will be free to move. So it will conduct electricity. So one more, ions will be free to move, right? Potassium sulfide is an ionic compound. If it is molten, then ions will be free to move. So it will conduct electricity. Explain why potassium sulfide has a high melting point. So that you need to write properly. Again, though, this type of question, huh, you need to write properly for three months. Let me write, explain why potassium sulfide. Potassium sulfide, potassium sulfide is a giant ionic compound. There are many strong 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 electrostatic electrostatic force of attraction force of attraction see how i answer attraction between between oppositely charged ions in a uh, lattice, lattice. So we need high energy, high energy 
to overcome this force of attraction right so the this will give you three marks now let us please write it down very important write it down potassium sulfide is a giant ionic compound there are many strong electrostatic force of attraction between oppositely charged ions in a lattice so we need high energy to overcome this force of attraction do you understand Hello, do you understand everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, so if you check the mark scheme, see similar wording you will get. Uh, electrostatic force of attraction between oppositely charged ions, if written, mark one, we, we have wrote. They are relatively strong, they are strong. We have written in one sentence. They are strong, they are strong electrostatic force of attraction between oppositely charged ions, mark two done. Mark three, large amount of energy required to overcome the force of attraction. See, mark three. And we have started with a, with a, uh, with how, what type of ionic compound is this? What type of compound is this? It is giant ionic compound. Okay, fine. So please note it down up to number six. We'll finish the rest uh, in, in our next class, inshallah. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Alaikum salam, Tanvir.